got a package today. Uh, I went to the range today. I didn't record it because I just put a range video up, and my range videos suck, okay? But I did, you have to take my word for it, I brought the XD to the range. It ran flawless. It ran flawless. Um, just to show you guys, don't be afraid to take your guns apart. You know, as long as you put them back together right and do the right thing, uh, it's not going to hurt them. Like they're designed to be taken apart, and they're designed to be put back together, and they're designed to work, okay? But the only thing my recommendation is with these kind of guns is um, when they have these roll pins in them, call the company, get some extra roll pins. I'm going to do it. I'm going to call them uh, today and ask them to send me some. But this ran perfect. Not one jam, no misfeeds, stovepipes, nothing. Not a damn thing. Every single round went bang, shot nice and accurate, did a great job, and uh, I got to clean it again. But I'm just going to give it a, you know, I'm not going to rip it apart like I did. Uh, wait. Next time I do it like that, I'll wait for another 500 rounds and then uh, I'll do a detailed field strip. There's no, no purpose to keep stripping it down like that. So I'll do a basic field strip on this, throw it in the cleaner, clean it up, and uh, good. The, the main thing is it's, it's reliable, it's working, now I can feel good and carry my gun. Always, if you detail strip, if you detail strip your firearms, Try to do it the day before you're going to the range. Don't do it Tuesday and then go to the range next Wednesday. Because what if you carry it and something happens, right? Do it the day before you go to the range. This way you go to the range. You know it's still working. You know you didn't do anything wrong. And you know it's good to go. And that's, that's usually what I do because I'm paranoid, okay? Springfield XD, flawless. So I will mark on my chart that there's still zero defects and change my round count to 100 okay all right uh, I'm gonna get the M&P to the range next too but I want to show you this package this is what the video is about really let's put this over here uh, I got this from us a cactus tactical now this is the magazine clamp for the shotgun Let's see if they sent the right one. All right, my Glock knife from Bill. Pretty sharp knife. Damn. That joint juice, I think, is working, because usually that would hurt. Uh, the first time they sent this, something happened, something went wrong. Uh, I hate these friggin' peanut things. Hold on. They get all over the place. I panic. I panic when the peanuts get all over. I don't know why I don't like them. Okay. Get that out of here. There it is. That beautiful magazine clamp for the Remington 870 shotgun. Uh, the only thing else I'm going to do to it is... Um, Get a new butt pad for it because it does need one. I'm gonna get something fancy. This is so pretty. Man, is that a pretty, pretty magazine clamp. Look at that. It's gonna make the whole gun look better. Hopefully, it fits. And uh, I'm gonna get the shotgun and we're gonna throw it on and uh, see how it looks. After I drop the scissors. Hold on. Alright, let's get this bad boy on there and we'll see the difference, how it's gonna look. Uh, taking this one off, this is your basic one some guy sent me, it's really nice though I'll hold on to it, you never know you never know when you're going to need gun parts try not to throw away gun parts or give away gun. I used to give away all my stuff, I don't do it no more because I find that I need this stuff ok, I'll just slide that off And you got a small end and a big end. You got a small barrel and a big extended tube, so obviously. It's gonna slide about down to man, does that look good or what? Down to yeah, you can put it anywhere you want really. Since it's bigger, I'm gonna bring it down about right there. Now when you tighten these. Squeeze them with your fingers. 
uh, wrong, wrong Allen key. Okay. And you gotta take them both down at the same time. And flip it around. Don't crank it all tight on one side. Just take them both down. Equal tension. Okay, believe it or not, it makes a difference, I know. But this is one of the nicest magazine clamps that I can find on the internet to my satisfaction. And they look they look incredible. They look so good, you know. The only thing is every time you clean the rock the shotgun, you gotta take them off. And it's an extra step, but it's worth it because look how nice the shotgun looks with it. Want it pretty tight. I mean, don't wrench it too hard. Remember, this is only, I think it's aluminum, feels like, because it feels awful light. So you don't want to crank down too hard. There's my dog barking at the freaking birds. I've got a smart dog and I got a stupid dog, you know? There is a lot of recoil, so definitely uh, crank it as much as you can without over tightening it. I think that's going to do it. Okay, let's get a better visual of this now. Now I've been waiting a long time for that damn clamp. The first time they shipped it, it got lost in the mail. Damn, believe that? It's not their fault, but that happens. Okay, there you go. Very nice. Looks more finished now. Uh, give you a close-up of it. Compared to that other one, what a difference, right? Yeah, look at that. It matches the top barrel perfect, don't it? It's the same texture, the same color. Looks great. The shotgun's almost done. Just got to get a new butt pad for it. See how white that butt pad is? We got to fix that. And that's it. This thing's ready to rock and friggin' roll. Alright guys, hope you like the new clamp. Let me know what you think. I think it's awesome. Let's put the uh, foregrip forward. Give it a full effect look. Believe it or not, it changed the whole look, didn't it? Look, it looks, it looks really good. I'm very happy with it. If you want one of these, you have to go to Cactus Tactical. Just Google it. I don't, I don't, I don't have the address because I threw it out and all. But uh, they, what's good about them is they, they ship priority mail. That is such a huge difference. A priority mail, I don't care if you're shipping something from California all the way to New York City, it will get there in three days. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, guys. Sorry, for, you know, I'm just tired today. Uh, I'm videoed out. <laughs> but this was really cool. I'm glad this came, and uh, I wanted to share it with you. All right. I got something else coming in the mail. Hopefully today or tomorrow I'll show you that, too. It's going to be extra cool. See you.